So the Tradewind was a barkentine, a three-masted sailing vessel made out of wood uh, with a four-mast square rig. And uh, it was uh, leaving Buffalo in 1854 and traveling upbound uh, down to the, uh, or to the upper part of the Great Lakes. And uh, um, it went through the Long Point Cut, uh, which is a cut that exists at the time through Long Point. And on the other side, it met another ship coming the other way who was also trying to make the cut downbound called the Charles Napier, another sailing vessel. And the Charles Napier went into the uh, starboard side of the trade wind, causing a large hole that caused the ship to sink pretty rapidly. The end result was is that the Napier, after hitting, backed away and disappeared into the snowstorm that was happening. And uh, um, the ship sank very quickly. Fortunately, the trade wind was carrying a unique cargo. Uh, one of the par parts of the cargo was two lifeboats for the life-saving service. And the crew took to those to save themselves with no loss of life uh, because their, the boat's uh, yawl boat had been destroyed in the collision. Uh, there is also a cargo of iron rail on the deck and in the cargo holds is iron stoves. And those can still be seen today on the wreck. Uh, the wreck actually exists in 120 feet of water off a of long point. And uh, it's probably one of the favorite recreational depth wrecks of people diving uh, Lake Erie. It's probably one of two best recreational wrecks in most people's lists. Uh, it's fully intact. Um, the hull is intact. The deck is all there. The hatches are all there. All the deck equipment is there, including windlass, capstan, winches. Um, and the uh, most important part of the wreck is the cabin. The cabin at the stern is there, which is unusual. They usually blow off in sinking. And uh, two companion ways, uh, or one on one, one on the port side, one on the starboard side. And on top of the roof of the cabin is a little well with the ship's wheel, uh, which is always a favorite for people to see. And there's also a skylight on the roof. Uh, off the back of the stern, you can see the entire transom and underside lines of the ship, plus the large rudder in a scour hole. So the ship is a very attractive ship to see. Um, it, uh, um, there's so much to see, in fact, that you cannot begin to see it all in one dive. And given its depth, you have a pretty limited time to just circle the wreck once. So it's a favorite. It's hard to get to, but when we get to it, we uh, really do enjoy that wreck.